my homemade puff pastry dough. And right now I'm just gonna roll it out. So right now I'm just gonna get some flour. Flour my surface. Flour the top. And I'm just gonna roll it out. So now that it's a little bigger, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut it down the center. And we're gonna, we're gonna set one side to the we're gonna set aside this side and we're gonna work on this side. So I'm just gonna roll it out till it's pretty thin. I'm just gonna get some more flour on the top and flip it over. And just roll it till it's thin. Okay, so uh, I rolled out my half of pastry dough and I just cut off, cut off half of it. This is gonna be the bottom part of our pastry and this one here is gonna be the top part. So first we're gonna start off with this one. So you're gonna take a ring mold and you're gonna press down and twist and you're gonna make about 10. Okay, so after rolling and cutting them, I have the bottom parts which are a little bit thicker and I have the top parts here, which are a little bit thinner. So now I'm ready to fill. So I'm gonna take my cold beef filling. I'm just gonna get about this much and place it directly in the center. And I'm gonna get my top. So now I'm gonna just fill the rest of mine. Put a little in the middle. And just do that for all of your pastries. So you can essentially fill these with anything, but your filling always should be cold because otherwise it'll spread out while baking. So it's just about one tablespoon per pastry. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put these on lightly and I'm not gonna press or anything. I'm not gonna press the edges. I'm just gonna put them on and lightly pat them. And just do that for all of your pastries. So now I'm gonna take a small ring roll and basically just put it in the center and kind of push down. So you can see the mark and it kind of pushes it down. Make sure that nothing is spilling out. You don't want to completely cut through it, you just want to leave a mark. So now after my rings, after uh, I use my ring roll, I'm gonna get some egg wash. I'm just gonna gently brush them with egg wash. So you wanna make sure you coat all of the um, dough on the pastries so you get a really nice golden brown crust on top. So I'm almost done. This is my second last. And you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And these will go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the top is golden brown. So these are going in. So these have been in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And they came out and they're nice and golden brown on the top. So right now, we're just gonna transfer them to a plate to serve. So this is the final product. We have a nice golden brown top, and on the bottom we have a nice dark brown bronze color.